Good morning, everyone. This is Surgeon with episode 4 of Let's Play Might and Magic Dark Messiah. Dark Messiah, Might and Magic, whatever game. Um, so I'll be honest, um, this is the fifth time I've tried recording this episode, and yet I haven't quite got it. Would you like to know why? No, nah, it's not because I, uh, flubbed my lines or whatever. I don't have lines, I do this, well, blind. Um, no, it's because I keep on dying. Yeah, the next couple sections have a lot of combat, mm, I'm not great at combat, so, uh, let's hope maybe this is the time I don't, uh, immediately die. Pretty good looting here. Much better than slim pickings from Morton Haven. I'll say. Hard to get excited over barrels of dried fish. Well, that's just because that's you haven't had perk. my dried fish. The ghouls and zombies are too dumb to steal anything they can't eat. Urgash take the lot of them. Who knows what they want? Not uh, me. I'm pretty sure the zombies and frankly, want frankly, I don't want to know. I think that's a Very good wise, my friend. Very wise. You hey, won't you. make it. Come over here. Don't try That's to run. Right. Come on. Show some skill before I kill you. That's Come right. I am so strong. I, I can slash right I through iron home. bars. And then I'm so magical I can repair them mystically. And immediately pay after I'm done my shooting through them. Stabbing through them. Uh, uh, <sighs> Guards! Nope. Oh, I can't get it. There we go. That was easy. Yeah, no, that was definitely the easiest time I've had on this room yet. So, uh, replaying these uh, next six or so rooms, uh, so many times, um, have taught me a little bit about, uh, you know, what is a useful idea and what is not a useful idea. Useful idea number one, eat as much food as you can. Not even joking. If I can eat a mushroom and gain two health, do it. The other thing I've learned is there's no amount of uh, uh, health potions that aren't worth using. There we go. Then we get his attention. He explodes, and then we have an archer in this room. Now archers, like I said, are tricky. First of all, they attack you from range. Don't Second move, of all, they won't buddy. chase you like other guys will. But something I learned recently is that you can... How did that happen? Whoa. I don't know where that fire came from, but uh, took care of him for me. So what I was going to say before I was so rudely interrupted from that fire from heaven is that uh, you can pick up uh, bodies laying around and use them as human shields, and uh, I think that's pretty neat. A little morbid, yeah, but pretty neat. Alright, let's get going. So uh, this room has a bunch of bad guys. Also that guy, you can see him right there. We won't fight him now, we'll fight him later. And by him, I mean uh, creatures like him. They're a little tougher than your average human. Certainly a little bit more aggressive, but uh, they're not impossible to defeat. First things first. You can see there's a guy right there. There's also a rope near him, and if I cut that rope, he will be hit with a swinging chandelier, and that'll be the end of him. So, what was the one is you won't that. I hope you saw that. It was as beautiful as I could possibly imagine. You can't hide forever. bad guys around here somewhere. At least I'm pretty certain there are. No, uh, from uh, the blood spattered everywhere, it looks like at least one of them, besides the one I intended to get hit with the chandelier, got hit with the chandelier. That's kind of really nice, actually. As a matter of fact, this is 
crazy easy compared to, oh, I didn't mean to pick you up, but uh, now that I have you here, uh, you can wait there. I actually want to take you with me, but uh, not this very second. I got to go down to here first. Why? Well, uh, there's a potion. Those are always useful. There are wizard robes. I'll need those shortly. Um, I want to say there's a potion up here, too. Yeah. And then, uh, not that it matters. But, uh, if I turn on my night vision, I can see back here, and there's nothing to see but books. Not that books aren't great. Books are great. But, uh, nothing useful game-wise. be able to wear that wizard robe very shortly, but not quite yet. Right now, it is time to gather up my friend, which I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you Meryl, is that okay? I've always liked the name Meryl. Why am I taking Meryl with me? Well, there is a guard right Right there. He'll try to shoot me if I get too close. But with Meryl, don't move, buddy. It won't matter. See? It just hurts Meryl. Poor Meryl. I'm sorry, Meryl. Die! Oh wait, that gun shot me. Uh. Oh crap. Uh, way easier than the first time I tried, I'll tell you that much. And it's all thanks to you, Meryl. <laughs> Poor Meryl. <laughs> what have I put you through? Hint, the answer is being shot with an arrow. See, there's another archer. I think there's also a sword guy running around here somewhere. this playthrough, but uh, I am doing so, so exceptionally well compared to the last time I tried. That's almost, that's almost a whole 180 degree turn from what I, uh, how poorly I was doing last time. Okay, so, um, let's see. Love letter. That's juicy. That's kind of sweet. I mean, it's a plot point. We are going to travel to an island soon. But, uh... Well, first of all, uh, the old fool should be spending the money on hiring more soldiers for the city. That's interesting to know. Tells you what people think. Um... Talking about a trip to an island. Hey, we're about to set off for a trip to an island. Well, at least as soon as I defeat all these bad guys. I love you madly, Christos. Oh, that's actually kind of It looks like speech. Menelag needed better hired help. Holy Psalms. Holy Psalms, Batman. I don't care about that one as much, Batman. Holy secret lever, Batman. Holy lowered rope, Batman. Holy what happened, Batman? Why can't I move, Batman? What's happening to me? I can't move. Well, that's the end of this Let's Play, everybody. Join me next time to see if I can't find a way out of this terrible prison stuck between a bookshelf and a rope. Thanks for joining me.